future Earth, Mars. Mars, otherwise known as the Red Planet, because of rusty iron in the ground, is half the size of Earth. Its surface is cold and full of deserts. Mars' atmosphere is made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. Its atmosphere is thin and like Earth, it has weather systems, and polar ice caps. In 2022 SpaceX will send two robotic cargo missions to the Red Planet to deliver solar panels, mining equipment, as well surface vehicles, food and life support infrastructure. In 2024 four more starships will go to Mars, those will be two robotic cargo missions, and two crewed missions. The crew will set up the propellant production plant, deploy the solar park and landing pads, and assemble greenhouses. Besides building colonies on the surface of Mars at the beginning, in the future private and government space agencies will build space stations orbiting Mars, for scientific labs, and living purposes. By building space stations in orbit, humans won't have to deal with the brutal weather on the Red Planet, and they could run many experiments until the planet gets partially terraformed and more habitable. To achieve this at first, SpaceX is planning to send 1,000 starships with materials and crew in order to start building colonies on the ground. With the advancement of AI and robotics in the coming decades, we will be able to construct the first space stations by the end of the 21st century. Back on Earth we have been studying other planets with radio telescopes, or by sending robots on the surface of Mars, and satellites across our solar system. With all the knowledge that we have gathered, now the time has come for us, to go and explore in person, other planets by starting with Mars. It won't be easy at the beginning, but with planning and hard work, we will be successful. SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is capable of carrying up to seven passengers to and from Earth orbit and beyond. The pressurized section of the capsule is designed to carry both people and environmentally sensitive cargo. Towards the base of the capsule and contained within the nose cone are the Draco thrusters, which allow for orbital maneuvering. There were plans to make a Red Dragon spacecraft to land on Mars, but they were scrapped. Elon Musk said it was a tough decision. You'd have to land it on some pretty soft landing pad, because we've deleted the little legs that pop out of the heat shield. Besides, in order to have a human presence on Mars we will need a bigger spacecraft. The new spacecraft will be the Starship. The cost per flight will only be $2 million. Dragon will be used here on Earth to transport astronauts and cargo from and to the International Space Station.
Tesla Station and Research Facility, in orbit.